After a long, grueling, and record-breaking track and field campaign, cross country has finally returned to the forefront in 2022. Now, cross country is easily one of the most brutal, unforgiving, and challenging events in all of athletics. Aside from running through never-ending rolling hills on the grass, you're more often than not destined to compete with fields that can often include well over 300 athletes, all pushing to the front to find their spot towards the lead. Indeed, cross country presents many challenges and is the ultimate reflection of endurance and overall toughness. But so far in 2022, Caitlin Tuohy from North Carolina State is proving to be almost unbeatable, and her performances in the NCAA are proving to be quite incredible. Ever since her high school days, Tuohy has been at the forefront of distance running excellence. For her sophomore, junior, and senior years, she was awarded the Gatorade Female Cross Country Athlete of the Year, the only three-peat winner of this award in high school history. Additionally, Caitlin also raked in three victories at Nike Nationals, the only individual to ever do that, by the way. She also broke five individual high school records, and she went undefeated in cross country in multiple seasons. It's easy to see why Caitlin Tuohy is regarded by many as the single greatest female high school distance runner to ever compete. And moving into the NCAAs, she has only continued to see success. For the 2020 season, she achieved All-American status in cross-country as a freshman. In 2021, she helped NC State win the team title in cross-country. And as the 2022 track season quickly unfolded, she proved once again that she was on another level of speed. On June 11th, she was considered as one of the big pre-race favorites to win the NCAA title in the 5,000. And as the final two laps approached, she proved once again to be the best in this field. With just 600 meters remaining, Tui pushed to the front and made a strong bid for the title. And with a final 400 meters of around 68 seconds, she clinched victory in the 5,000 with a finishing time of 15 minutes, 18.39 seconds, missing the NCAA championship meet record by just three seconds. By the end of the 2022 track season, Tui's personal bests had been lowered to 4 minutes, 6.84 seconds in the 1500, and a splendid 5,000 meters of 15 minutes, 14.61 seconds. These two times now rank as the 8th and 7th fastest times ever run in the NCAA. But moving beyond this championship track season, Tui has been absolutely dominating the cross-country scene in 2022. For her season opener on September 30th, Tui took a huge victory at the Joe Pine Invitational, breaking the course record with a 5K effort of 15 minutes and 50 seconds. This impressive time took down Mercy Chalangat from Alabama by 12 full seconds, which considering that she was last year's NCAA champion in the 10,000 meters with a time of 32.37, this was quite the impressive opener for Caitlin Tui. At 15 minutes and 50 seconds, Tui won this race with an average pace of 5 minutes and 5 seconds per mile, or 3 minutes and 10 seconds per kilometer. And while this victory was very impressive, her most recent win at the Nuttycomb Invite was without question even greater. Now, the Nuttycomb Invite is one of the biggest and most elite cross-country races of every single season, and winning this event is very significant. But somehow, Caitlin Tui looked effortless as she crossed the finish line in first place. With a finishing time of 19 minutes 44.3 seconds, she won this 6K race at an average pace of 5.17 per mile, or 3 minutes and 16 seconds per kilometer. Now, she's only competed in two races thus far for this cross-country campaign, but already, people are labeling her as the NCAA favorite for cross-country nationals, and in the minds of many, looking like this, she just might be unbeatable as this cross-country season unfolds. If we go all the way back to March 1st of 2019, over three years in the past, I uploaded a video predicting Tui's performances for the future. Now, for this prediction video, I said that she would run times of 4 minutes and 28 seconds in the mile, 9.33 for the 3200, 15.20 for the 5000 on the track, and 15.50 for the 5K in cross country. Now, at the moment, she's gotten pretty close to 4.28 in the mile and a 9.33 for the 3200, but for the 5K distances, she has officially reached these times, running a 15.14 on the track, and just recently, exactly 15 minutes and 50 seconds in cross country. 
Tui's full potential is just starting to be realized. And with this in mind, I want to pass one final question off to you. Do you think Caitlin Tui will go undefeated in cross country this season? And will she win the NCAA championships in cross country? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching everyone. And as always, until next time.